IRS just stabbed Americans in the back, gives more than 7.5 million tax dollars to. By National News Today 365.com. In business as in life, you get a, just a couple of opportunities to do a vocation. Well, in government, you can spoil it the same number of times as you need. Indeed, say 150 million times. In business, that would be sufficient to never work in an industry again. However, for Equifax, the credit agency that permitted the individual information of 150 million Americans to be stolen. Indeed, it just implies that they'll be hired by the IRS and paid for with your citizen dollars via the Daily Caller. The IRS is set to pay Equifax, the credit reporting firm, reeling from a massive data leak, 7.25 million to protect taxpayers' identities and prevent fraud. The Federal Tax Collecting Agency awarded Equifax a contract through a sole source order, which means that the federal government deemed only one supplier capable of delivering the related services. Equifax's duty will be to verify taxpayer identity and to assist in ongoing identity verification and validation uh, needs. So, post hack, Equifax gets dollars in a no bid IRS contract and potentially profits selling ID protection to hack victims? We deserve answers. Mr. Smith, um, I want to be just see if I can be clear about where I think we stand nearly two hours into this hearing. Your company, which has only two competitors, right? Really only have two competitors, um, has lost the data of 145 million Americans. And this isn't a spreadsheet problem. This is a real human problem where two and three and four years from now, you're gonna have real Americans whose identity is gonna be stolen and their credit is going to be abused in the future and they're going to have difficulty qualifying for a home loan or a car loan or they're going to pay a differential interest rate than they should be paying because of the rotten credit score that they're going to have and in response your company could potentially uh, make a profit from selling lifelock products again i i agree with you earlier that a lot of the forward-looking innovation uh, that may come from this um, could incrementally improve things but I think we're most interested right now in the retrospective moment for these 145 million. You're going to have a product that could potentially be sold to the very victims. It feels like a broken Windows business model where you didn't actively chunk the bricks, but your company allowed bricks to be tossed through Windows, and then you might potentially be able to sell new Windows to some of the same people whose Windows were just broken. And I think the way you explained your LifeLock uh, product in your testimony make some sense for what you plan to roll out in January of 2018, but it's still really hard to understand it as a fraud protection product when you think about the victims historically. So I want to go back for just a minute to this uh, contract with the IRS. So we, we checked and it appears to be a no bid, even if it's a revolving contract that's a no bid. But it, it, the purpose of the contract with the IRS looks like it's fraud prevention, right? You're trying to prevent fraudulent access. I won't ask for a show of hands in the room, but I don't know who would want to say we should buy fraud protection from the people who were just hacked and dumped 145 million American records. So uh, just honestly, as an American, and I appreciate the, the, the fact that you've resigned from the, from the company, but as an American, why should anybody hire Equifax for fraud protection right now after the exposure? Senator, I understand your point. Uh, our company's been around for 118 years, and for most of those 118 years, have done good things for many uh, stakeholders, including the government. Uh, and one of those things we've done very proudly is prevent fraud uh, for many entities, including the government. Uh, I come back, it was a horrific breach, and I apologize on behalf of the company for that breach. Uh, we'll make it right as best we can, but it doesn't wipe out 118 years of good work we've done. 
Thank you. Um, I'm going to be following up with the IRS and asking them why this contract should go forward. Um, but thank you for your willingness to appear before the committee today. Thank you. Presently, a fast update. Equifax is the credit agency that, through a mind-blowing stroke of folly, figured out how to permit the individual information of, of about 150 million Americans to be stolen by programmers a month ago. The folks responsible for checking your credit gave your credit away. What's more at this point? They're being procured by the IRS to secure your identity and credit. What's more, the insane thing is no other organization was ever permitted to offer for the job. Three high-ranking executives sold nearly $1.8 million worth of stock just at days after the company detected large-scale data breach. George Takai, what could go wrong? The IRS just hired Equifax to handle our personal information as part of a no-bid contract, no less. It looks corrupt, obviously. What's more, it's one of only a handful, a uh, couple of occasions in which Democrats and Republicans are both distraught about a similar thing. Due to the enormous breach in such detail, lawmakers harshly criticized the IRS's decision to work with and pay Equifax. It's irresponsible for the IRS to turn over millions in taxpayer dollars to a company that has yet to offer a succinct answer. The Finance Committee will be looking into why Equifax was the only company to apply for and be rewarded with this. Fox Business on IRS giving $7.25 million to Equifax. I don't, for the life of me, understand why they proceeded with that contract. You know, um, I didn't know what to say when I read that. I was walking back over here when the news came out. First we knew about it. And not only that, it was a sole source contract. No competition for it, which I always think is a has to hit a pretty high bar in the government to get a sole source contract. And especially given what um, the IRS should have known had happened at Equifax, given the unanswered questions about their own data security and the enormous brief, the, the breach that's affected consumers, I don't for the life of me understand why they proceeded with that contract at this time. And we intend to ask the IRS now, why did you think that made sense? You know, I, I, I give Mr. Smith credit. He took blame uh, personally and corporately for what went wrong. I appreciate that. But holy smokes, when you dig into this, as we did today, and that's our first mission is to get to the facts, you find out it was a human error. There was one person, apparently, who forgot to tell somebody that they had a piece of software that needed to be patched. How do you have a company that's as global and important in our everyday lives as Equifax rely on one person to make the right decision at the right time or else everybody's records are at risk of being exposed? Yes, that's sir. what happened. Well, that's so true. Obviously, while lawmaker uh, promises, uh, while lawmakers' promises are just fine, they're is as yet the straightforward matter of Equifax ensuring your own information for uh, for the IRS meanwhile. Well, this sounds like a, a scam to me. That's all it sounds like. You know, they, uh, they have the breach and then they're trying to sell you something and meanwhile the taxpayers are, are, are being charged uh, to uh, fund them. I mean, it's, it's absurd. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.